Hi everyone. This is a quick video to show you how to make these lanyards. Keep watching. So let's get started. This won't take long at all. So this means you can make a lot of them, especially if you do craft fairs. These are really wonderful additions. So I'm using these lobster claws that have an opening for one inch fabric. Um, one inch fits just about perfect. You can get these at one and a half inch also, but in that case you would need to adjust the width of your fabric. I'm using one inch. So I've cut my fabric three inches wide and you should cut it anywhere from 41 to 42 inches long. So I've just gone through my fabric drawers and found long enough fabric. You want it all in one piece. If it's absolutely necessary, you could use two pieces of 21 inches and attach them together before you do your pressing. You could do that, but if you have anything 42 inches wide, 41 inches wide, that would be ideal. So what I've done is something we do all the time when we make straps. I've pressed in half and then opened it up and I've pressed in about half inch on each side leaving half inch open and then fold up. And that's all you need to do before you start sewing. So on this one you can see that I've done my sewing down both sides. That's all I'm going to do because the polka dots are pattern enough. If you're using a solid color like when I use the red, you could actually add embroidery down the center of it or add names, whatever it is you like to do to dress it up a little or just leave it plain with the sewing up both sides. So this one is all prepared. The sewing is done up both sides and I sewed the open side first. You want to make sure that you are grabbing the folded fabric when you're sewing. Then I pressed and sewed the second side. Now I'm going to choose the side that I want as my front and I'm going to fold it in. So you want your back folded out. I'm going to take my lobster claw and put it on now. I'm using this side as the back because you can see my fold line is a little more visible. So all we're going to do now is sew about three quarters of an inch from the end back and forth a couple of times to make sure it's good and secure. So I'll get that stitched and I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see the sewing that I've done across the end. So what I'm going to do now is just trim a little bit off of that. I want to leave a good half inch. I tried trimming more and leaving just about a quarter inch, but I found that the lobster claw didn't lay properly at the end. So if you leave it just a little longer, it works a little better. So I'm going to take off a quarter inch instead of leaving a quarter inch. Take that off. Now we're going to flip it to the good side. And we're going to turn our lobster claw around and bring it down to the end where you have your stitching. I have a little thread there I need to trim off. So now you can see the seam is here and our lobster claw is at the end and this is all smooth with no seams. By the way, I should have mentioned I have seen some people use interfacing in these straps. I don't. I think that if you're going to be wearing this around your neck all day, you want it to be soft and comfortable so I haven't added any interfacing to them. Also, nothing like fusible fleece or anything like that. You don't want them to be bulky. When you have to wear a lanyard all day, which I've done, you want it to be comfortable. 
So now I have about a half inch tucked in between the straps. I'm going to take this back to my sewing machine and run a seam right across. I'm going to start off my lanyard and finish off my lanyard so that I have a good seam closing it. You can even do a double seam if you like. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. And there we go. All done. Our lanyard is done. How easy was that? I hope that this video is easy for you to follow because they're super fun. So please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.